Hey, how y'all doing out there in YouTube land? This is the letter coming at you from the wild, wild west. Unboxing, unboxing time. We got another one. I've actually had this one for a while. I was just saving it so I could do a video on it. And this one came from Atlantic Knife. Eat my, my eBay seller that I like. Atlantic Knife. And it's my final. Well, I can't say final because I may be getting the newest one too. So I can't say it's my final. But it might be my final if they don't lower the price of the newer one. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Doing the opening day, SR1 light, super sharp. Let's see what Atlantic Knives got for me. Get a discount on your next order. Enter Winter Five at checkout. Atlantic Knife. Awesome. And that I will probably use. Knowing me, I will probably use that 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 discount. So I'm gonna save that. Thank you, Atlantic Knife. And here it is. Yep, y'all know I got one. I had to get another one because I liked it. So I got, you know me, when I like something, I always get two, especially if they're affordable. <laughs> four Mag Scout. Now I got two Four Mag Scouts and American Four Max and Italian Four Max. It gives me four Four Maxes. And I might get the newest one too if, I, if the street price isn't so bad. But as it is right now, I'm not going to get it. So I'm not going to spend $400 for something that should cost $200. That's why I think the new format should cost. I think it should be more like $200. It doesn't have 20 CV. It doesn't have the big pivots and doesn't have the big stop pins. I don't even know if it has titanium liners and backspacers. Because if you go on the website, it doesn't say what it's made out of. It doesn't say if it has a titanium liners or backspacers like they used to do. So it might be stainless steel or some steel or aluminum or something like that. I don't know what it is. But all I got to say is I don't think it's worth $500. No way. No way. And basically, the new 4Max, 4Max Elite is what they're calling it. Is the exact same thing as this one. It's got the same size pivot, pivot pins and stop pins. All the heart, all the the lock bar is the same. The lock bar is the same. The liners might even be the same. I don't, I don't know. The one thing thing that sets this one apart though is that this one has a um, what do you call it a a G10 backspacer. As opposed to stainless steel, aluminum, or titanium, whatever they're using on the on the new Four Max Elite, I don't know what they're using. And it has the same small torsion spring for the triad lock, as opposed to having the big wide one. But other than that, it's made very nicely. But at this one at a hundred, these are like a hundred to hundred and ten dollars. And for the price that you pay for one of these, the only difference of the new Formax Elite is that it has G10 handle scales and has 35VN blade. They're both made in Taiwan. They both have the exact same blade grind. The blade grind on the Formax Elite and this one on the on the Formax Scout are exactly the same. And they both are stonewashed. They both the, the knives look exactly the same except for the handles. The handle scales and the backspacer. And G10 backspacer, and I don't know what kind of backspacer they're using on the new Formax Elite, but a G10 backspacer, I mean a, 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 a metal backspacer, and G10 handle scales, and S35VM steel doesn't make, to me, in my mind, the new Formax Elite worth four hundred dollars, almost four hundred dollars more than this one. I don't see it. I just don't see it. I do not see that. I will never pay four hundred dollars for this knife with the S thirty five VN handle 
I mean, blade, G10 handle scales, and metal backspacer. I, I, it's, I, I don't see it. I don't see it. It's not worth that to me. To me, it's more like a $200 knife. Same thing goes for the, um, the Tau War. The Tau War, they want almost 300 bucks for it. And I think it should be more around 200 bucks. The Holdout and the Tau War, they should both be right around in between 150 and 200 dollars, if you ask me. That's what I think that would be a good price for them. You know, a good street price. I'm talking about street prices. Because I know, I know the, the like you know, just like Cold Steel used to do the GSM site. They're, they're probably marking their stuff up way up higher than you know the actual street prices are. That's the way Cold Steel used to always do too. You know, they they say they, on their site something would cost three hundred bucks, and you go on the street, you get it for one hundred and fifty bucks. You know what I mean? And the street, when I say street, I mean online dealers and stores, and eBay and Amazon. That's the street. This one is super smooth. This one's smoother than my first one. Oh, hell yeah. This one's really smooth. Maybe, let's do the test. Let's do the test. See which one's the smoothest. I still think the SR1 is going to be the smoothest. Let's, let's test them out. Let's do a sound test. Just a little bit. This one's really, this is smoother than the average bear. But this one is the king. That's the smoothest one. These are just so damn smooth. These new SR1s. This one's still nice though. It releases easily. It's just not as smooth as the SR1. I think it's hard to beat the SR1. Excellent knife. Well, we all know the specs on this one, so I'm not even going to go over the specs. Well, yeah, let me see. I'll read, I'll read the specs to you off the box. Blade length, 4 inches. Overall length, 10 inches. Blade steel. Japanese Oz 10A. I love Japanese Oz 10A. It's a great steel. Weight 10.2 ounces. Thickness 4.8 millimeters. Handle handle length 6 inches. Griv X. Now, the one thing about the about the um about the 4 Max Scout that I, I really like over the SR1 is that I wish they'd use the Oz 10A on the SR1 and instead of the 8CR was it 13 M MOV? I think that's how you say it. 8CR 13 MOV. Did I say that right? 8CR 13 MOV. That's right. I wish they would have used but you know I haven't had any problems with the 8CR 13 MOV though. You know it's like this I've never resharpened this and I've been using it constantly and the edge is, is held up pretty well but I haven't cut anything that's like super hard to cut though you know like things that are going to really wear down the edge mostly just opening boxes and letters and mail and things like that so but the edge is held up it's just like the edge is still just as good as it was when I first got the knife so I, I don't know you know maybe HC, HCR 13 is okay it seems like it's better than the Oz 8 because Oz 8 I used to have to resharpen it all the time after I used it if you want it to be hair hair pop hair popping sharp, but so far it's doing very well. I'm impressed with both of these knives. I think both of these knives are great deals. I, I can't stress that more. I think they're both super great deals. And the AD15 light, I think that would probably be a good deal too. If they lowered the price, just I, know, I saw it on I think it was uh, the Knife Center. They were asking for the pre-order, $135. I think it should be more like $115 or $110. It should be like the same price as the 4 Max. That's my opinion. I think it should be cheaper than the 4 Max. I think the 4 Max Scout should cost more than the AD15. What do you guys think?
I just think I think it should. If this is 110, the 8015 should be around the same price, or just a little bit more, or just a little bit less, but it shouldn't be like 135. Because for 135 dollars, I expect I don't know from Cold Steel, I would expect G10 handle scales and and everything else like that. That that's what would make it be worth 135 to me. And here, who we got here? Who we got here is trying to sneak up in the video. That's Juno. There she is. Say hi to the camera, sweetie. Did everybody see her yin yang face? No? You don't want to show the yin yang face? Huh? There you go. That's my girl. She's such a papa girl. She loves her grandpa. Hmm? You're such a papa girl. Yes, you are. Okay, now you got in the video. Now it's time to go. Okay. But yeah, I really love these knives. I think both of these knives are great values. The SR1 Lite and the 4 Max Scout. For a working man that needs a working man's knife, and needs a good heavy-duty strong knife that they can depend on, this is where you go. This is where you go. And it, you know, it, it, as you guys know, you go, you guys know I love my Voyagers. I love my Voyagers. But I like these a little bit more than the Voyagers. You know, for for the four inch blade Voyager that is. The Voyager XL, uh, that's another type of knife to me. You know, it's more of a fighter. But uh, but for every ADC knife. EDC knives to me are more like the four inch blades, four inch, three and a half inch, four inch blades, four and a half inch blades. Those are my EDC knives. And for EDC knives, these are awesome knives that for work. And that's about all I got to say about these. You guys know about these knives. They've been out for a while. So this might be the last one I'm getting right here. Unless they bring down that price at Elite. I would like to have the Elite and add it to my collection. I only want one. I just want to get one to add to my collection. You know, because uh, the fancy 4 Maxes I don't use. This one I use. I use one of these. I might put one of these in my drawer. And try doing some wood crafting or something with it. Because I think this would be a good blade for that. But anyway. That's all I got to say for today. How's everybody doing out there? I hope you all doing okay. I hope, uh, hope this video is finding you in good health and in a good mood and everything's okay with you and your world. My world's doing just fine. It's raining today. It's raining outside today. And all that's been on the TV lately, as you know, is the trial. I'm not even going to get into it. I'm not even going to go there. But I'll just, just let you know that I'm, I've been watching it too. Here and there, little bits and parts of it. I'll be happy when all this stuff is over with myself. I'm ready just to move on and get back to life as normal as possible. <laughs> but anyway, these are nice. These are nice. Highly recommend both of these. And as you guys know, I'm an SR1 person. I love the SR1 Tontos. But I also like the 4 Max. I like the 4 Max 80, 10, 80, 15. I like them all. I like them all. I really want the 8020. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Master make master lock maker Andrew Demko. Make me an 8020. I want an 8020. I need an 8020. I want a black one. I want a DLC coated all blacked out 8020. With the 3V blade, DLC coated blade, without the hole. I don't want a hole in my blade. I like blades without holes. I want one of those 8020s. Make some more so we can buy some. I love the 8020. And as you guys know, I like fidget knives, and 8020 looks like a great fidgeter, but I haven't been able to try it out yet. These are beautiful knives. Beautiful work knives. Cole still sure didn't know how to 
give you a lot of money, a lot of a lot of value for your dollar. These are these are what I would call high value knives. Look at the blade stock on these. These are these both of these knives are just tanks. Super high value. For around a hundred bucks. This one's fifty sixty bucks. This is 110. Absolutely love them. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Peace out. Stiletto. Have a great day.